you need to speak better to yourself. You deserve to have an inner dialogue that is encouraging. Um, I talked to one of my clients about this. I was, what I, what I did, what I said was like, we need to turn your inner dialogue. We don't need to like stop the inner dialogue because that's not something that, that, that shouldn't be the goal. Our inner dialogue helps us get better. It helps us uh, heal. It helps us um, set goals. It does all kinds of great things for us if we optimize it. So what I said to him was, we need to, we need to make your inner dialogue a sitcom dad. Like let's, let's, let's try to get your inner dialogue to Danny Tanner, like the dad from full house. Like, do you, are you aware, you know, are you familiar with that? And he's like, he laughed at me. He's like, yeah, I know who that is. He didn't. The reason why I said, get your inner dialogue. Let's try to shift that more to a, a sitcom dad was because whenever DJ from full house or uh, Laura from Laura from, oh my gosh, family matters messed up. What did the sitcom dad do? Did he berate and beat those children? No. Did he express his disappointment and show them love anyways? He did. So I think that I think that having that kind of inner dialogue is such a like such a goal for an ADHD person because we're going to talk to ourselves about the things that we've done. We're going to like we're going to have feelings about that. 